Today is about the power of you. You will change the world. You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast. Do the damn thing. Where we talk to visionary dreamers like you about living their best life. Fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself. It's time to step into the past, present, and future with an open and healthy mind. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How is everybody doing on Let's Talk Sunday? This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, and some real bullshit. And you are tuned in to Chronicles of Living Podcast Show, the show for everyday people doing everything things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. And I just want to welcome you guys, first-time listeners, my veterans. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. I didn't get a chance to send a link out today, but I believe right now, if you want to tune in, if you meant to hear the message, you're going to tune in and hear the message without me sending the link. You know what time, and even if you come here and I didn't, I'm not on live, guess what? There are 222 episodes that you can listen to, so no excuses, guys. So let's get on with, oh, oh, to you newcomers out there, I am a life coach, a life purpose coach, an uh, energy healer, and card reader, and a book author, amongst other things. All good, though. And uh, yeah, and this show is just about taking everyday topics and letting you view them from a different angle, um, sharing different stories that can help you look at it in a different light to make your load a little lighter. That's basically what this show is all about. For you to come in and listen, and when you put the earphones down or take them off, that you feel better about yourself, about your world, about your life than you did before you put the earphones on and tuned in. Bam, that's it. So, today's topic is signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. And I'm going to be honest, (laughs) y'all. Y'all might have heard me breathing heavy because I literally just ran in the door. (laughs) And I hope that I spelled signs and wonders right on the title. I did it so quick. (laughs) But that shows y'all that I am working hard on myself to be dedicated to get back in the flow of every Sunday, you know, coming on and giving y'all something to uplift y'all week for the next week, you know, going into the, to the uh, new week anyway. So this was a title that, uh, basically just came on my head as usual. And, um, I guess I'm gonna start off by saying, you know, when I say signs and wonders, and I really hope that I really wrote that on title, forgive me if I didn't. I will change it after. (laughs) But, um, you know, when I say signs and wonders, everything I I talk to y'all, those who have listened to the podcast show prior to this day, always tell y'all that everything in this world is a sign. It is something that maybe you might wonder about. Let's say it that way. And maybe that's why it's signs and wonders, because the numbers from the numbers to the insects to the to the birds, to the animals, to a red balloon. And I'm going to say a red balloon. And I didn't get a chance to see um, why I saw a red balloon today a couple times. I I looked that up before, but mm, colors are everything, y'all. So let's take the red balloon for a minute. Um, I didn't get a chance to really kind of research and ask spirit, like, why did you show me these red balloons today during my travels? But I guess uh, first thing that comes to mind when you're talking about signs is red is the color of your root chakra. So your root chakra represents uh, security and balance. And um, it actually represents, I believe, your sexuality and things of that nature. Um, 
I'm really y'all. I'm I'm trying to get here. I'm trying to bring myself right here so I can be right here with y'all and stop running. I'm I'm still running in my head to the seat. <laughs> but anywho, I I'm just gonna take that for example. Um stability, security, that's the, the, the root chakra in short. And I have been having a lot of sign well, I always have signs, but I'm saying I've had this number that has been popping up one, two, two, two. It's one of my numbers that's been recent, um, recently appearing for the last, I'm going to say maybe three months, uh, consistently daily. Okay. So when I say signs, um, you guys, sometimes when you ask the universe, God, uh, a question, when you pray about a certain thing, it's not like God, angels, uh, just going to come sit in front of you. Yo, Adion, listen, this is why, you know, this is the answer to your prayer. So listen, this is what you got to do. No, that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is the universe is going to send signs to see how much of an alignment you are with yourself, with your higher self, as a matter of fact. How much um, do you really want the answer? To that question, do you really want to receive that answer now? Are you really ready for that answer? Are you ready to take action when you get the answer? So this is why sometimes some people can um, analyze and be very observant about something that happens or something that pops up on the TV screen or maybe something in the movie. Um that's being said or anything and take something totally different from it than people think it's meant to be because all movies have messages rather you realize it or not it's not just a message it's not just entertainment rather they all have messages underlining uh, messages but you have to be in alignment to catch it you know so the number one two 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 um means that You are going to, and I'll say me because it's been my number, but if you have been seeing this number now that I'm mentioning it, it means that whatever it is that you're here to do, you will be walking in it in the year 2022, you know, um, your, your gift, your purpose is going to be expanded beyond your imagination, As long as you are ready to take action, as long as you are ready to put the right things in in place and you are not fearful of walking into the unknown, you know, and just seeing the things through and following all the little signs that come about. So let's get back to the red balloon because that was a sign. So when I look at, okay, the red balloon, um, the first thing I'm thinking right now, because I haven't been able to like had a minute to do the research because I just was seeing a red balloon today. And um, but dealing with the root chakra and um, stability and security. So if I mash mash up the number one, two, 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 and seeing the red balloons, meaning stability and security, that lets me know that I will have security in the stability that I so desire. If, if, only if I go after with full force, the dreams and the visions that I have been having in my head to do without doubt, without um, question. That's what those two signs mean to me. That's what spirit just gave me. Okay. Now, if you were to see those numbers and a red balloon, yellow balloon, whatever, that is not going to mean the same thing for you because you probably are not dealing with what I'm dealing with. You're probably not, um, on where, where I'm at. So, one of the things that I've been working on and I can share with y'all, I'm not going to give y'all too much, but I'm going to give y'all a teaser is putting together a retreat, a private retreat for different groups. Um, and um, I think I shared with y'all that I was doing something, putting something together for women empty nesters. So it's going to be a retreat for small um, women empty nurses. I have other retreats in mind, but that's going to be the first one. So now 
going back to the signs and the wonders. The wonder is, okay, can this thing really work? Can this, you know, um, can I really pull this off the way the vision is in my head? Can it really be that big? Because the vision in my head is really big, you know? So that's where the wonder wonder comes in. And to you newcomers, I use my stories to help you relate to a story that you have, something, a, a question that you have. And I guarantee you, if you pay attention to what I'm saying and how I connect the dots for myself while I'm talking to you about these signs and wonders, I guarantee you, if something doesn't hit you while you're listening to this show, when it could be tomorrow. Something's going to hit you and be like, oh, oh, I saw this and I asked and I prayed about this and God really gave me the sign to show me yes or no, go forth or don't, um, you know, let it go or hold on or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you got going on. In your life right now, in your mindset right now, because you're listening to the show and I'm teaching you on a real, a real boot camp, (laughs) how to look at different signs that come across your eyes and your path and just ask yourself the question, hmm, why did that randomly come across my path? I mean, these red balloons were random. I'm, I'm saying I'm driving down the highway and on the fence of... Uh, doing the, you know how you get the, you see the rails along the road on a fence. I just happened to eye it real quick. And now you think about you driving on the, the highway. How, how are you going to just eye this red balloon? You know what I'm saying? But it was just, I just sitting here tied on this little, on the fence. You know what I'm saying? And I saw it. And then later on while I was driving, I was riding through a subdivision and I saw three red balloons. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, this is what I'm saying, y'all. <laughs> I saw three red balloons tied to this mailbox, this person's mailbox, in passing through a subdivision. So now, this is what I just got from Spirit. Man, thank you, God. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you. My mind is so clear. This is what happens when you clean your head of all the clutter. And you don't, um, you don't, mm, just, just fill your sh- stuff out about the cuss. Well, I do anyway. Um, fill your head up with junk, with chaos, whatever everybody else's stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can hear clearly. You can hear spirit clearly. So while I was telling y'all that, here it is, another sign. What is three and one? Three and one is four. The number four is the number that represents structure and stability again. So, (laughs) amongst other things, amongst the fact that the number four represents angels. And if you see it in synchronicities, four, 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 or, or, you know, four, 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 and stuff like that. Angels are all around you. So now somebody going, if you didn't see the fours, now you know what it means. And if you, if you didn't, I mean, if you saw them already, you know what it means. And if you didn't see them, you will guarantee you soon. So now I'm taking three things. I'm taking the fact that the red balloons represented um, stability and security. The number four represents structure and stability. The, um, these are in short meanings that of course they mean much more, but I'm giving you what spirit is giving me out of it, which meaning I need to take from me right now. Okay. Um, and the angels all around, which means the angels want me to know this. The angels are showing me this as a, as an answer to my question. Okay. As far as the retreat, but the number one, two, two, two consistently shows up so much so that it showed up on my range, my clock range of my stove, just as I was leaving the house today. And I left the house today at eight o'clock. Now y'all tell me 
that it ain't real. It was 8 o'clock when I left my house. No, matter of fact, yeah, it was 8 o'clock, 8, 8 a.m. when I left out this morning. But as I was leaving out, I grabbed a banana and grabbed some water. And I just looked at the, I just glanced at the range and it said one, two, two, two. If you pay attention, you will see the signs that spirit is giving you if you're ready for it. So with all that being said, you got the number four. I'm going to break it down again. You got the number, the, you got the red balloons, which was four of them that I saw in, in passing. You got um, the one, two, two, two. You got the meaning of structure, stability, um, security. And you got the numbers meaning um, it's time to go for it. It's time to go full force for your dreams um, that has been sitting on your heart. It's time to go without doubt. And it's your season that it will happen. This is your season and it will happen this year if you do it. So if I go for it, that means I'm going to have the stability and the security. But first, I have to put it all in structure. I have to structure it all out in order for all of this to come together. I have to structure this big, this whole retreat idea out. I have to plan it out from beginning to end. And of course, of course, I can go in and, you know, do some little adjustments and things of that nature. But the bottom line is spirit is saying I can have it. And this is my season to get it. This is my just do season for everything that I have been doing to come together and I could bring it together in a, in a retreat. A healing retreat for women. I'm going to start with the women. I'm going to get you men. I'm going to get you. But I got to start with my women my ladies first. Okay. So with all that being said, anything you see, I saw. So I'm just, this show is just, I'm going to give you guys examples of signs. So that you can be more aware of the different signs that God, the universe, angels are showing you to answer your prayers. The answers to your prayers and the answers to your questions, the answers to even if you got anxiety. So I'm going to share that. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, mm, I don't know what it was. I woke up and I just had anxiety and I normally don't have it. Well, I didn't meditate, so that might answer my question. But anyway, I had anxiety going out, you know, I kind of went out without meditating. I'm, I'm used to meditating in the morning to kind of balance and ground myself, ground my thoughts because my brain be going like 10,000 miles an hour as soon as I open my eyes, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, um, brains are doing the same thing. So you definitely want to learn how to meditate. And I, I think I'm going to incorporate that in the show, um, soon, maybe like just as I go off, maybe do a little something. Maybe I'll do it today. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So anyway, um, so I had a lot of anxiety, right? So, uh, a sister friend of mine had gave me this bag. This is another sign. I'm going to tell y'all. So this is how y'all going to, by the time we get done this show, y'all going to know how to pay attention to some stuff. <laughs> so, um, a sister friend of mine gave me this black bag, this like little, little, nylon bag to put my trash in while I'm driving because I would have this plastic bag all the time. But I just thought it was a black bag. I had this bag in a car for like months. I'm I'm saying probably like a good six months tops. I never looked at the bag. I just put some trash in there, but I was cleaning out my truck and I took the bag out to empty the trash and noticed that there was some writing on it. And I'm like, Oh wow. Okay. It said, um, wait, what was it? Difficult times. I think it was difficult times leads to beautiful destinations. That's what it said. Difficult moments or difficult times leads to beautiful destinations. So here, something as simple as a bag. Here, I'm getting in my truck with anxiety. And then I realized oh, I need to clean it out, whatever. And, and all of a sudden, spirit was like, look at the bag. I'm like, OMG, okay, all right, I'm going to chill out. <laughs> Don't beat me up. 
but I still had anxiety. I don't know what it was, but yeah, again, it could have been a meditation. So let me move on. So I go on, I go on about my business. You know what I'm saying? And I go, I need to, oh, oh, so let me, let me tell y'all this. So I used to Uber to the newcomers, the uh, regular people. Y'all know I used to Uber. I love Uber. Well, if I'm in the mood, I love Ubering because it's great networking. It's great networking. Of course, it's great extra money. So I haven't been Ubering for the last, uh, for real, two years or so. I think I went out maybe two times. But anyway, I decided yesterday, for some reason, I wanted to go Uber. And it just, it never happened because I was just so irritated for some reason. So all along this trip of thinking that I was going to go Uber, um, the next thing happened. It was, I realized that I had a, the, the new phone and it needed an attachment in order for you to charge it up. Right. So long story short, I said, well, let me go ahead and go get this, this cord. I go to, um, what is it? Oh, I'll go to the, the what is it? Met- Metro T-Mobile go in there. I'm like, okay, I need this cord. Well, they didn't have it. And I drove a long way to go to this Metro. They didn't have it. But as I was going into the Metro, another sign, the building next to this Metro said, <laughs> you can control your feelings. <laughs> It was a, it was like some type of canceling business or something. I don't know, but it was right next door to the Metro. I was about to go in to ask for this course. So it was almost like spirit knew. All right. You already a little antsy today. So we're going to pre warn you with this sign on this building that you can control your feelings. So you need to get out of your own funk, whatever reason why you're in it. You know what I'm saying? So I go in. And the lady tells me that, but she has curly hair like mine. I've been looking for this type of, you know, something good for my hair, good product to make my curls um, last or whatever. I get to talking to her. She tells me Tracy Ellis had uh, from what Blackish has a line of of hair stuff. So now I transformed that energy, just like the sign said, you can control your feelings. And I looked at it like, okay, it wasn't meant for me to get my little plug from here today. It was meant for me to find the product that I've been looking for, buying all this stuff and it not working out the way I want for my hair. And now here's the dog on Metro PCS T-Mobile lady with the bouncy behaving curly hair. Let me fill it and everything. <laughs> perfect, perfect solution to what I need for my hair. So maybe, maybe I just went there for that. And this is how we can transmute our energy and start being more lighthearted when things are not going as planned. And then I wind up going to Best Buy and getting it or whatever like that. But I never really got a chance to Uber because after I finally got went to Best Buy and I got the charger, I said, all right, I want to try this package thing, delivery thing that uber has going on i clicked the dog on uber thing and it says <laughs> you cannot ride without doing this education class uh it was like six videos i was like what <laughs> well i gotta watch these damn videos <laughs> so now you know it went out to do it but i said all right i'll watch the videos anyway so i said let me find me a shaded area and I go in the shaded area that I find is right next to these uh, sheds that Home Depot have. Now, the sheds is something that I've been looking at, looking into to build on my land to have cabins for my retreat. I've been I've been researching them, but the cabins that I the company that I thought I was going to roll with. I looked at the cabs at Home Depot. I was like, well, shoot. They freaking, they was like a whole 9,000 less than the company I was going to roll with. Again, another sign. You see, y'all see the patterns that I'm taking y'all. I probably said that wrong. My mom said I always say that word wrong. (laughs) Mom. (laughs) But anyway, y'all see what I'm saying? Like, if we really look at life 
and not get upset about things not going according to our plans. You know what I mean? But look at the things that we get along the way, along the day that are answers to other prayers, other questions that we have. Every day will be a good day. Seriously, every day will be a good day. Cause I, when I say my anxiety was gone, I'm I didn't forgot about the whole Uber thing. I I'm all in doggone sheds. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm taking pictures. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what's up. So because me and my sister group, we plan on being Bob the Builder up in those uh, sheds. <laughs> And putting all the walls together. One of my sister friends, her husband is a construction worker. So we going to have him be the foreman and help us out. You know what I mean? But this is a project that we're all excited about doing, you know? And so I want, I had to have the thought of doing the Uber to even get out to that point to see that damn shit, to see that I was about to roll with a company that was going to charge me $9,000 more for the space, the same space. And check this out. That shed had a higher ceiling. So not only will I save money, but I'm going to get more space. Y'all see what I'm saying? If y'all really tuned in, tapped in, turned on as Abraham Hicks would say, (laughs) my mentor, y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying and y'all going to apply it to y'all life and y'all going to apply it to those unanswered questions and sit with yourself and ask yourself, hold up. Let me think. Mm, What did I pass? What did I see? That was kind of odd that I can remember. That was kind of just out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? I was talking to one of my sister friends on the phone. Um, about the retreat the other day. And as I was talking, I have, um, uh, my, my screensaver on my TV, it just takes, it just does random pictures and these beautiful horses were running on the picture. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, look at these horses. And she's like, what does that mean? Cause she knows that everything means something. And I said, they mean action, right? Action. Now we were sitting there talking about the retreat. It also means freedom. It also means courage. Horses, that's what they represent, you know? So if I look at that again and apply it to the whole vision of the retreat, it would tell me, I'm talking to her about the retreat, it would tell me we, when we take action, we'll have more freedom with our lives, but we got to have the courage that it takes to, to take that action and to do what it is that we want to do. And we'll have the freedom that we, that we seek from, you know, doing these retreats. Not only will we have the freedom, this is what spirit just put on my heart, but the people that come to the retreat are going to be free. Ain't that deep y'all? All that from me just seeing some damn horses on the TV <laughs> and people call me crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all it's, it's, it's deep. It's deep when you pay attention. So I'm going to share one more, um, with y'all. And that's really what this show was about. When spirit put this on my heart, I just want to teach y'all the wisdom and the knowledge that I have gained through my journey of becoming, um, not becoming, but embracing my gift as an energy healer and, um, and then, in an intuitive, you know what I mean? Um, reader. So another thing was I went to one of my sister, um, friends houses, uh, uh, a couple days ago to help her. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. No, we went to check out, uh, one of the campgrounds that we want to do the retreat at. And one of the, this is one of the places It's going to be a couple places, but anyway, so we want to go see what they had going on now. In the midst of the ride, when I say numbers, and she didn't know anything about synchronicities. I mean, uh, 333 came past on the clock. 444 came past on the clock. My number, 1222, two, two, came across on the clock. Rather, it was on the uh, direct. Oh, oh, so on the GPS, you know how to give you 
excuse me, what time you're going to get there, arrive, and the miles. So on my miles on my phone, it said 22111. Two, two miles, 22 miles, and we were going to re- arrive at uh, 111. Now, y'all tell me, come on, come on. That That is definitely signs that this thing is going to happen. And all while we were riding, when we got out the car, butterflies everywhere. Well, butterflies are my totem animal. They follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> People don't be believing me, but she saw it that day. She's like, where are all these butterflies coming from? (laughs) So butterflies, butterflies mean transformation. That is another sign. So if you have a question, if you have something that's on your heart, you want to do and you, um, you know what I'm saying? And you start seeing butterflies out of nowhere. That means that some transformation is going to have to happen for what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to happen. Or it could mean that because you're on that type time, you, you reach it forward to a, a new level. It can just signify that you are going through a transformation because when you think about a butterfly, what does it go through? It's our, it's, it's an ugly cat. I mean, I'm not gonna say ugly, but it's a caterpillar first. Then it got to go through this this ugly lava stuff and all of this stuff that it has to go through to become this beautiful butterfly. So that's like, if you see a butterfly and you're going through difficult times and life is just not where you want it to be. Um, and you see a butterfly, first of all, butterfly is from the spirit room. That could be an angel coming to see you. One of your, your ancestors, somebody that's passed on coming through, in the form of a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? So you see a butterfly. You're going through some some difficult times. That butterfly is just telling you, it's okay. It's okay. You're just going through the cocoon right now. You're just, you're becoming a butterfly. Just go through it. Because at the end, everything's going to be beautiful. Your life, you, everything that you want is going to be beautiful. So if you're somebody that's going through this transformation right now, I encourage you, I inspire you, and I motivate you to just believe and just to go through the process and don't fight it, but go through it and do what it is that you are capable of doing until this process is complete and look forward to it. Be grateful for the lessons that you're learning through the difficult times. You have to be grateful for what it is that you're going through and look for the lessons in the lesson. You get what I'm saying? Look for the lessons in the lesson that you're going through because everything is a lesson. So I said that was going. Oh, and then when we were in her backyard and we were, um, she was showing me her backyard, more butterflies. Orange ones and yellow ones. And I'm going to say real quick, the orange one means, I can't remember which one, but orange and yellow butterflies, both of them, they are um, not just uh, transformation, but encouragement, um, hope. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me. I apologize. That's how y'all know it's live. Um uh, hope, encouragement. Oh, wow. Somebody needed some applause. So there you go. See how, see signs, signs, but you catch on. Yo, um, listen, I'm proud of you. If somebody out there, not somebody, all of y'all, all of y'all, I'm proud of y'all. I'm giving y'all, I'm proud of y'all for moving forward with whatever you got going on. I'm proud of y'all for making those hard decisions that y'all have to make. That's what spirit just gave y'all a hand clap because <laughs> that just came from out of nowhere. That's a sign, guys. That's a sign. Not. Thank you, God. That's a sign for me. Thank you. They give me a hand clap because I'm explaining it right. I guess somebody's getting this message. <laughs> so, dang, I lost. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, the orange and the yellow butterflies. Um. They signify hope. They signify um, encouragement, um, motivation. Um, it's so many meanings, and I wish I had the time to just really 
break that down. But I think I'm going to start doing little series on or videos. Don't quote me on it, y'all. But I'm going to work at it, okay? On really breaking things down. So the other thing that she saw was while we were talking, she saw the butterflies flying around. And she was like in awe, like, why is all these butterflies in, they, in her yard? But she had never seen all those butterflies before. And I said, they be following me, yo. You come in my backyard, you'll see them. And even when I'm driving. So a ladybug came and landed right on my shoulder as we were talking. She's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and she always calls me ladybug. Sometimes when she texts me, she'd be like, hey, ladybug. And she saw the ladybug fall right on my shoulder. Ladybugs represents good luck. Good fortune is coming your way. So think about it, guys. This retreat might be off the chain, but it's not just about that. I'm just, I'm explaining to y'all that when you pay attention, that's what's going to give you the motivation and encouragement to move forward. That's going to make you smile. Oh, when I'm driving, I see these butterflies following my car, flying past my car. What is it going to do? It's going to make you smile. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you a ladybug landing on you. You're going to be like, oh, oh my gosh, like, wow, you know. So if you pay attention to all the beautiful things that God, the universe has for us um, to show us, to to make clear, like, yeah, I'm listening. I hear your prayers. I hear you. I got you. And stop worrying and stop playing the negative thoughts in your head or listening to people that ain't for you or that's against you or that's um that just don't have your back that you want to have your back but you you realize that the universe always got your back always no matter how crazy whatever your life is and even if you're doing good because this show is not just about oh you down all the time no this is just a show of showing you that whatever answers you want they're right in front of your face all the time you just is too 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 on my dog on time for my recording right now oh my god oh, goodness gracious thank you god that's a manifestation number i think about the number two one and one two that's two people okay that can be meaning partnership now, mm, two 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 that's six i mean yeah Wait, hold on. Yeah, six. Six. Six is the number. People think that 666 is a bad number. It's not. It's a good number. It's only bad when it becomes unbalanced. The number six means making sure you balance your material world with your spiritual world. Three and three is six. You got to have that balance, right? To make the six. So you make sure that your material world is balanced with your spiritual world. If you lean too far to your spiritual world and you become too religious, that's not good. Because now you're so religious that you are ignoring the other things that's in your life. It might be your family. It might be your friends. It might be your true purpose. It might. It, it could be anything. Too much of anything is not good. Period. Period. Too much of anything is not good. If you're so focused on a materialistic world, if you're so focused on, oh, my bills got to be paid and I got to get this money and all of this stuff, you're so focused on that that you are now losing faith. You get what I'm saying? You are now having so much doubt because you're focused on what is and not what spirit can do to help you. You know what I'm saying? So you so far to the worrying about the material world, worrying about the bills, worrying about looking fly, worrying about having this nice house, car, whatever. As you working so hard towards that, that you're forgetting to pray. You're forgetting to be grateful for what you do have. You're forgetting to be content in the space that you're in right now and looking forward and thanking God, thanking the universe that, man, thank you so much. I'm here and I look so forward. I look forward to what you got for me. I look forward to what's coming. I look forward to doing this retreat. No, it's not here. No, um, oh, I don't have a lot of money to just do everything that I'm that I want to do. Hence, I decided to go Uber to make some extra money. You know what I'm saying? But not just to make the extra money. I just have something in my spirit that just said, start 
Ubering again. Start connecting the people again. Because when I used to Uber before, there were plenty of people that got in my car that I had great conversations with that wound up sharing some stuff that was heavy on them and I was able to help them release it. Hence, I went Ubering today, guys. And I'm in the show with this. And I hope that they're listening. So, when I got up this morning, at 8 o'clock, I went out to Uber. It was a good day. And I just, something just, I jumped out the bed. And I was like, my spirit was like, go Uber. I was like, okay, I'm going to go Uber. It never worked out the other day. I'm going to go Uber today. I go. So long story short, it was cool. I was just trying to get my footing back together. But all the rides that I had, I didn't really have too much conversation for nobody. People was listening to their own stuff or whatever, so I don't bother them. You know, I'm just riding. I'm just looking at the scenery, looking at the different areas in Georgia because it is a whole world tour when you Uber. But my second to the last ride, I pick up these two young ladies. Oh, 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 oh. I just got another message. Mm, mm, mm. So I pick up these two young ladies, right? I pick them up when I came down here. Came back from uh, when I moved here from Harrisburg, 2019, September 2019. Wow. In September. I'm sorry, y'all. When these messages be coming, I can't control them. It is September. Yo, I moved down here this time in 2019. And today, I want to Uber which I gave up the Uber and because of the pandemic or whatever, I went to Uber and spirit took me right to the supermarket that was down the street from my cousin's house. I was living at when I first came down here. Wow. What spirit showed me, I got to get this message out first. Then I'm going to share that story. Then I'm going, I'm going to go. This is some deep stuff. So which, Mm. What spirit showed me, was showing me, was that look how far you have come since you moved here. Look at, look at what you have accomplished since you moved here. I moved in with my cousin, and I now have a beautiful home that spirit blessed me and my son with, with a nice amount of land that I'm able to build the retreat on, a private retreat on. Since September, this date, around this date, it was around the 18th, something towards the mid or um end of the month, from the 18th to the 20 something, early 20, something like that, that I moved here. Spirit literally made me Uber all the way down there. I mean, up there to the market I used to shop at to make me realize how far I have come within these last couple of years because I took action because I did what I said I was going to do. That's some deep stuff. Y'all man, I'm ready to cry, <laughs> but anywho, so I pick up the two ladies and I wanted to talk all of a sudden, all the time I was driving, I ain't really talk, but I wanted to talk. So they ask me what I do. I tell them I'm an energy healer. I, I love, you know, picking up folk. And I, I was sharing with them how, you know, people would get in and share their stories. And they was like, oh, we don't want to, you know. And then, you know, we just laughed or whatever. We kept riding. So then I just said, um, so what are you ladies? You know, what are y'all dreams and y'all visions that y'all holding back on? And then they both just looked at each other. And it was a mother and a daughter. And, um... And so the mother thought that I said, what did she dream? What has she been dreaming about? And so she was like, well, I had this weird dream. She started off like that. And then the daughter was like, no, mom. She said, what's your dream and vision? I said, "Uh -uh, no, if that's what came out, that is what's meant to be said. So tell me about your dream. So she tells me about her dream. So I'm not going to get into detail about her dream because that's her dream. And that's what we shared. But. I broke her dream down and she, they was stunned. They was like, OMG. And the daughter was like, that's what I've been telling her. That's what I've been telling her. And so on. And she was like, I don't even know you. How do you know this stuff? <laughs> so then the daughter is like, 
well, I'm scared to say something. So then she goes and she tells me some stuff and I started breaking some stuff down for her. And as soon as I said one thing about what she was saying, what she was sharing for me, and this was something that she had on her for some years. And I told, I told them both that we as adults, we carry stuff, we bury stuff, and we just live life. And we don't know how it's going to come out to affect us in our future or how we vomit it all over people that love us. You get what I'm saying? If we don't address the things that we have tucked away. And a lot of times we tuck things away and we forget about it because we just live in our life. We get older, we got bills, we got household, we got kids, we got all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you forget about some of the things that that might have hurt you in the past or had some type of deep effect on you in the past that you never really released, you never really healed from, you never addressed. So when she shared, the daughter shared her stuff and I started breaking down and I really did. It wasn't even long. I just kind of said pretty much a couple things to her and there went the waterfall. She bust out crying while I'm driving and you know, the mom was like, wow, that's really what, you know, and they was just like, yo, this is some deep stuff. Like I said, yo, when I get out the way and when anybody get out the way and they let spirit take control and you got a clear head and you heal yourself, you work through your, you do your journey, you work through the healing and you heal yourself. That's when you too can hear spirit just as clearly as I do. You know what I mean? And so I shared that story to let you know, again, signs and wonder. She, the daughter told me, I'm glad that I canceled that first ride. She said she had a first ride and this guy and she just didn't, she just wasn't feeling him. And then I came across and she was like, oh, she looks nice. And she picked me for the ride. She thought she picked me. She didn't pick me. Spirit picked me. Spirit woke me up to Uber, not for me to just get my footing, not for me to make extra money so that I could start getting this retreat, the stuff that I need for the retreat together. But spirit woke me up to Uber for those two young ladies. That's how deep it is. That's how deep when you pray about a thing and you want to an answer and you pure hearted, you want this answer. How the universe will play chess with your life and move some things around for you, move people around for you, move a situation around for you so that you can get the answer. But the question is, what you going to do with it when you get it? You going to take the action? You going to level up? You going to do what it is that you claim you've been wanting to do? You going to make that dream, that vision come true? Or are you going to go back and make excuses and ask more questions? Bam. I'm going to leave y'all with that. That thought. Okay. So thank you guys for always tuning in. Make sure y'all go cop my books on Amazon. Um, Adion, um, just look up an Amazon search, April, Adion Williams. Um, look for the 90 day, uh, the visionary dream of 90 day journal and transform your life. Um, discover your purpose workbook, you know, look out for a sister. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here as a vessel giving my energy, you know, let's exchange some energy and support a sister, you know, whatever channel y'all listening to me on, like it, star it, follow me. Go on YouTube, uh, subscribe, all of that good stuff, anything. Um, I got my cash app under some of the descriptions of the shows. Send a sister a tip, something. You know, let me know you out there. Let me know you getting some good stuff. It's helping you with your life. You know, exchange is everything. Energy exchange is everything. Just give me a thank you on uh, on the thing or telling me that I'm helping you. Something. To let me know that you you like the podcast, you're getting something out of the podcast. It doesn't have to come in the form of money. It could come in the form of emojis. I appreciate that because that is what keeps me fueled to keep coming on here 
and share the show. Definitely share the show with different people. You don't know who can get, you don't never know what I'm going to talk about. That's one. I don't either. (laughs) I just come on. You know what I mean? So you never know who may need the words that spirit is speaking through me to help them with their life journey. You know, so I love you guys so, so, so much. Smooches from afar, big hugs from afar. Again, again, I so proud of you. I so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Keep doing the damn thing the best way you can, okay? No matter what anybody got to say, tell them Adion said, you still a visionary dreamer. You are extraordinary. You truly are. So until next week, next Sunday, this is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, bullshit, and you are listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show, the show for everyday people living everyday life, doing everyday things. Y'all know I just screwed that all up. <laughs> I guess that was for somebody to start being lighthearted, enjoy life. You know, it's okay to so-called make mistakes. It's never a mistake. It's always a lesson. And it's always spirit telling you, no, this is just not the way. You got a different way to do things. So don't beat yourself up. Um, if you feel like you made mistakes in your life, forgive yourself, move on, try it a different way, work at it a different way. And that's what I'm gonna leave y'all with. I love you guys. Talk to y'all next week. The Chronicles of Living. We can be whatever we dream. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Chronicles of Living podcast, where you find only the highest vibrations. Remember, you are extraordinary. And if you're pursuing your dreams, we're proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. Something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Stay updated with Adion by visiting chroniclesofliving.com or stay connected through social media by following at Chronicles of Living. Until next time, your dream pusher, Adion.